So people wonder how come farmers and homesteaders and ranchers and everything, how, how do they get so much accomplished in a day? Well, that's easy. They don't spend all day on the couch watching TV. They don't, they're not, they don't play video games all day long. They get up and they do stuff. Now, we have this mindset that life is short at this house. So whenever, we, whenever we're old and on our deathbed, we don't want to be thinking, man, I wish I would have spent more time with my family. Man, I wish I would have got more stuff done. No, every day our goal is to at least get one thing accomplished. Now that one thing is not your chores. That's something completely separate. Chores are your daily things. We don't count that. What we do is we got this old type calendar. It's got the big squares. And anytime we do anything extra besides the chores, we write down what we did. Excuse the stains, but I mean we try to keep try to keep active as we can. This is how you get things done. And Whenever you get a day like this here, there's only one thing accomplished. It's like, man, I just waste, I pretty much wasted that day. I could have got so much more done there. And it, it, helped, it helps you put yourself on fire, so to speak. Another thing we do is we have a, a paper here on the refrigerator. Why do we have it on the fridge? That way it's staring you in the eye every day. Because you go to that fridge at least two, two, three times a day, I'm sure. If nothing else, just get you a drink. Now I know there ain't a whole lot done here on the uh, the house. We have house and we have outside. We've been getting a lot done outside. But honestly, we got so many other projects that's not even on here that we've been getting done that's actually on the calendar itself. But this this is a motivator. This will actually help you get things done. You'll be more productive. Your family will be happier. And it's just the best thing to do. And it also helps to have a wife like mine. She gets that whip, boy, she cracks it. She said, boy, you better be getting it done, and you better jump. So I just want to give an update on my son's little cancer surgery. His little hand is healing up just fine. So really appreciate everybody's prayers. Don't we, Philip? Philip, say thank you. Okay, don't come. <laughs> yeah, Jen's going to be so frustrated when she sees that this uh, video clip didn't have the sound. But uh, what's going on is she's making some zucchini bread for her husband, Phil Jr. And um, she's chopping up the zucchini in a food processor and measuring out the dry ingredients. Um we love sharing ways to use our garden harvest with you and this is how she's going to do it with the zucchini bread so uh this is her first attempt to show her cooking with you so please hang in there sugar and this is going to be two and a quarter cups of white sugar just going to bare 
verify myself here. If you guys are wondering why I'm so fat, it's not because I'm lazy, it's just because this is how we eat all the time. <laughs> all right. And then, um, let me get this mixed in together. Let me grab my whisk. And guys, I bought a bag of wheat seed so that we can eventually um, plant and grow our own wheat and make flour with. Because one of these days, you may not be able to find it in the stores. Okay, so we've got that mixed together and this mixed together. And we are going to pour the wet ingredients into the dry. Get that nice and mixed in. But guys, I'm gonna do something a little extra and that's put a little bit of cinnamon applesauce in it. Just makes it extra moist. And then you'll see what else extra I do here in a little bit. Let's get this all mixed together. So you can add extras um, other than the zucchini. Uh, the last time I made it, I added chocolate chip morsels, like if you were making chocolate chip cookies, and it was so chocolatey and rich. It was just like having chocolate cake. My husband says, you know, Phil, he's not a huge chocolate eater, but me and the kids are. So he's like, man, that's rich. And he couldn't even eat that much of it. So I'm not gonna add that this time, but if you are a chocolate lover like I am, it was, I thought it was delicious. It was really rich. And it does, this batter has more of like a cookie dough consistency. It's not really creamy, it's more doughy. Hence the bread. All right. So let's go ahead and put in the zucchini. Now I might not be using all of it. We'll see how much exactly is here. We'll just pour some in and mix it up real good. I think that's plenty, maybe even more than plenty. And now, for one of the special ingredients, is I'm gonna add some walnuts. recipe to make and it really doesn't take a whole lot of special ingredients so most of you probably have everything but laying around the house maybe not the zucchini but you definitely that's the main ingredient so you want to have is your zucchini 
some of you might have it in the garden or get it at the store. You know what? I'm gonna put a little bit more walnut in. That's a good idea. It is getting. <laughs> hey, he's about to get his hand slapped off. I know if I use all of it, he's gonna be mad because he's gonna to want to eat the walnuts out of the bag. He wanted to eat them last night. I'm like, nope. I don't have to cry cheese. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I've got two pants pop or um, dishes here that I'm going to grease because I'm going to do something extra that he doesn't necessarily like that much. But I do. I just like to take a paper towel to get the grease around the. Bowls here. Right. And this is going to cook for about 60 minutes. And at 30 minutes, you want to cover it um, lightly with some tin foil to keep it from browning too much. I'm telling you what, the last time I made this, it was so moist. And it was just done just like lightly browned. And it just kept the moisture in so well doing that. Okay, so there's one. And I'm gonna do a little something extra with this other one. Like I said. I think my oldest son put them in the refrigerator. I'm gonna beat him. Little diabetes coming on. Yeah, these are butterscotch chips. So last time I used chocolate chips this time I'm gonna use butter scotch. Oh yeah, that is gonna be so good. Oh my gosh, I can smell it. I feel like a whole bag of the chocolate chips in last time. It was like, woo! Of course, I loved it, but it was too rich for me, so. I love the butterscotch too, though. All right. I know he's gonna say that he just likes it with just the walnuts and the zucchini. Well, let me tell you what, he's gonna get into this. I guarantee it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stick them in the oven. And I'm gonna set the timer so that I don't forget to 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna take it out and cover them both with the tin foil. And then I'll put them back in for another 30 minutes and we'll be back to show you what they look like. And here's the finished product. So yummy. We look forward to hearing from you. You can contact us by email at chamberlainff at gmail.com. Like us and subscribe to Facebook and YouTube at Chamberlain Family Farms. We're also available on Rumble at Chamberlain FF. We really look forward to hearing from you. Give us some ideas. Bye.